Today we're talking with Peter Bretos, who's the national candidate for president of the RTPU in the upcoming election. Peter, how long have you been on the railways? I've had uh, 35 years on the railways and uh, I've mainly been an activist in the union for uh, most of my working life. Uh, when you say you're an activist, what are some of the things that uh, you've been fighting for? Well, I've been fighting for many years to ensure like management stops, bullying, harassment and uh, to make sure that most of my colleagues get a fair go. So Peter, one of the things that uh, there's been this uh, division within the RTPU between the leadership and, and, and the membership, whether that's real or not, but it's something that's perceived by members. How do you think that we should go about um, doing things a little differently? I honestly believe that all RTBU members should work together as a team, that we should all get together for the common goal, which is the worker. We should all work as hard as possible for the worker. And that's my honest belief. And I believe, if elected, um, with the members' voice team, that we will get this unity amongst all RTBU representatives. And this is what we're hoping for. Uh, what's the best way of get, getting that unity, though? It, uh, I mean, at the moment, you've got uh, management that go out and negotiate a, an agreement, and they come back and ask us yes or no. So how do, how do we actually involve the membership in yeah. that? My view is that, as an officials, that the only people that make the decision are the grassroots members. And when those members come back and tell us this is what, we, what we're going to do, well, this is what we're going to follow, the grassroots. As part of the management team to come into the RTBU, I do not believe that it is, that it is my, um, my role to interfere into what the actual members want. So if the members want to change something or do something and agree with management, well so be it. It's not my role to interfere with what the grassroots want. So if the grassroots want to negotiate different things, it's up to the grassroots, but we are there to assist them to get the best possible results. And my aim is to save as many jobs as possible. We are now coming into the phase where many jobs could be lost and we've got a big battle on our hands and if we can save as many jobs as possible this is what we are going to do so put the trust in members voice so what what uh, so when you go in there you're saying the members will make most decisions well what what will your role be well my role will be to listen to the members assist the members Right, and then take back to management what the members want. That's what my role is going to be. And of course you'd follow that up by going back to the members and, and giving yes, many going back to the response. members, yeah. I would go then go back to the members and give the members what the results of the management is. And this will be something that we put it in uh, plain expressions, a fair income uh, negotiation between the members and management and that's what it's all about not not the union and the leadership well that sounds very positive thank you peter thank and uh, thank you very uh, much for this luck. interview and uh, good luck thank you